Okay, sounds like everyone's good to go. So Cape North provides an opportunity to do a large scale exercise. We were able to combine both combat air, uh, mobility, air missions, and our ground elements providing air base operations and humanitarian disaster relief in a realistic operating environment. <laughs> The main objectives of Cope North 22 are really twofold. The first is military readiness, and the second of which is going to be humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, and that's being led this year by the RAF. Here we go for time. It's all about time. The EHC IPK. The Indo Pacific region is quite unique. There is a lot of natural disasters and weather events that require quick responses from regional partners. And it is important for us to be able to respond quickly and provide support when and where needed. So a big part of Cope North 2022 this year is we've implemented a lot of what we call agile combat employment. We're going to be sending forces off to different locations within the region, dispersing our operations, uh, and we're going to focus on how we sustain combat capability from a dispersed location, how we look to communicate, uh, how do we resupply and resource so we can sustain combat capability. Everybody that's here at the exercise has been required to test negative for COVID. All of the exercise participants are vaccinated. We've also implemented some restriction of movement criteria for folks when they arrive here in Guam. Exercise Code North 22 sends a message to the region that the Royal Australian Air Force, Koga Jetai and Pacific Air Forces can come together quickly and effectively to provide a response from a range of security issues or to provide effective humanitarian disaster relief throughout the region. <laughs> え、